How's it going? So recently on my channel, I've been really obsessed with doing these like puzzle piece shell challenges kind of. I'll show you what I mean. This is what I'm talking about. A literal puzzle challenge in The Sims. It's like a jigsaw. You got to put these together and make something awesome with it. It's like a broken shell challenge. I don't know. I've been really into doing these on my channel recently, but I thought it would be fun after doing Kate Emerald's jigsaw challenge recently. I thought it would be really fun to do a tiny version of this. So what I've done here is I've created my own little puzzle that only has 64 tiles, which are the requirements for a tiny home. So I'm gonna try and make a tiny home in The Sims 4 using these like broken shell pieces. <laughs> I'm also gonna put this on the gallery right now for you guys if you wanna do this. There, I'm not making a shell challenge or anything. It's literally just for if you guys wanna participate in something like this. Anyway, we are gonna go ahead and start putting these pieces together. So I think just like last time, I kinda need to start with a base. So I'm gonna use this, maybe rotate it and connect it with this one. This one looks like a magnet. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That looks like a pretty good base for like a tiny home. I gotta keep in mind the layout too. The layout on these challenges has been screwing me. <laughs> keep that one over to the side for now because I'm not sure if I wanna use that one yet or not. I have these little like tiny ones, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I think the best thing to do would be to combine them. I could maybe do like a laundry area like with these. Okay, Um, and then what if we brought like this little box. This could be a bathroom possibly, maybe like a dining room even with like, <laughs> maybe not even, maybe like an island. <laughs> Let's put that there for now. So what is this looking like at the moment? We're gonna end up with a really weird shell, but once we roof it and add, you know, everything, windows, doors and stuff, this is gonna come together, I promise. <laughs> I literally did this recently on my channel with the words, The Sims. So if we can do that, I, I think we'll be okay here. These platforms, last time I did a challenge like this, I kind of like stacked them one on top of the other, which looked really cool, but I kind of want to do something different now. And I was thinking about maybe using these as like a roof piece. Maybe I'll do like a front patio and like a side patio or something like that. That would mean that I can't use this one here anymore. So maybe I'll like bring this up. I always end up with these like weird little holes though, and I cannot add like anything. We need to keep the tiny home as well. That's part of this challenge here. The furnishing on the inside of this is going to be really, really tricky. So maybe we put that up there. We've got like a little balcony on the back. And then with this final piece, this could literally go anywhere. Like I feel like these long pieces might be a bathroom or a closet or something. Like we could we could put this anywhere, really. This is like a disposable piece. Maybe if I put that on the front, I could do something cool with these columns. That could maybe be the entrance. Or maybe this could be the entrance. Or this, literally. <laughs> Let's take a look at our layout. So for now, this is what my shell is looking like. Ladders are a given here. Like there's no way. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything else. Ooh, what we could do. We gotta do like stairways leading up like that or we could do like a ladder in a rooftop garden. That could be cute. Okay, hold on. Where is the front of my lot even? I kind of do want to explore like the stairs option. It would be kind of annoying to like go in and outside using the stairs like this, but let's just see how it looks. I don't think I'm feeling it. It looks a little messy. I'm going to delete. Let's do a ladder, I think. So ladder leading up to the rooftop patio here. And then we got to get some kind of cute fence for up here. I'm going to use this one for now. I don't really know where I'm going. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at this freaking layout. I don't know if I want to go full blue here, but for the time being, let's just say we did. I haven't even done the roofing yet, which is the hardest part. Let's do this part here as maybe like a little front patio. It's hard because I can't really go in and add a patio since that'll count for the tiny home, I think. Let me check. Yeah, no, okay, I do. <laughs> Unless we like cheat the system and do something like that and don't actually close it off. We could do something like that. This part back here is so annoying and hard to roof. I have no idea what to do with it and this. I was gonna turn this into a chimney and I think I still might do that. I just have no idea how to do it. this like side here. I think I'm gonna add my windows and doors and see if I can play around with some details or something on the top part because I'm not liking how basic this roof is looking and I also have to figure out what I'm gonna do back here. I thought about adding like columns or something but I don't know yet. We'll see. This is gonna be some grass. I don't think I'm gonna put this thing on the foundation. I haven't decided yet, but let's go ahead and get our windows and doors. Oh my God, should I go like super adorable, like nifty knitting style with this? Like maybe like a hippie or like someone who just loves to create in their craft and they move into this tiny home. I think we could do that. Let's get like a cute little nifty knitting uh, mailbox. Do you ever just like place one item and then you automatically know 
the vibe for the whole build. Oh my God, like we go in with this. How freaking adorable is that? Yes, it's done. You can't change my mind. All right, anyway, windows and doors. Let's do that before I go in with all the cute items. Oh God, this is right at the front of my house. I have no idea what I'm gonna put in there. Maybe storage or something. Okay, I've got my windows and doors. I think when I add the landscaping and all of the cute little details and then it's gonna kind of come together. So I'm gonna go in first of all with these stones, which I've been loving to use. And these are in debug and it's a little bit tedious but I think it adds a really cute look. So this is what I'm gonna do just for this little like entryway here. I'm picturing like one of these right here, like a nice cute bicycle. This is how they get around. Ooh, I don't know what one though. This is a big decision. I need like a few cute ones. Oh, that one, that one, that one. Look how cute that is. If I had that in real life, I might actually exercise. <laughs> cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna use some of this romantic garden stuff along this side. And I'm also gonna go in with a lot of those vines going up. I want this to be very plant heavy. I haven't really decided what the person that lives here is going to do. I'd like to have a backstory with my builds. So I wonder if maybe this person, this person could be uh, someone who knits or they could be in like the candle making business. I was thinking about putting something like that out here. For these weird spots, I'm gonna stick like a really skinny tree in there if I can. And for my landscaping, we are going pure color today. Inside I think is gonna be really, really fun and colorful. I was planning on putting like a plant up there or something too. I still haven't decided what the heck is gonna be up there. And I need to do my platform base. Okay, so this is where I'm at with my landscaping. I went kind of crazy with this, but this is what we've got. So around the side, we've got vines going up on this part. I've also fixed my roof. I kind of just added this one little piece in to make it look a little bit different. I guess it was a little bit too plain for me before I had a couple trees in the back these hanging plants are coming down like pretty much all around this balcony and I thought that looked kind of cool uh, but to solve this problem I did the eco lifestyle like hanging plants here which I might do like down there as well I haven't really decided what's gonna go right here on the platform what I'm actually thinking I might do is use that island living hedge all the way around to kind of act as my fence and then back here I could do just my like backyard stuff so I'm gonna go see what I can find from I want to do like eco lifestyle maybe some season stuff back here a pergola would have been really nice we've got a lot going on back here though I think I'm gonna do some of these like flower boxes around the side here maybe I can put some sunflowers in there like the little bug box like that okay cute I think I like that like that oh that's adorable okay I could definitely see that like weird toddler one. Ooh, or this actually no we're using that definitely cardboard box with a lamp on it as my table and I think I want to do the super colorful base game like like dining room table outside or even like the flamingo but the one that I was thinking of was this one okay there this is a lot I'm gonna stop I might do my lighting before we go inside and then we're gonna tackle this like disaster of a layout <laughs> no oh my god I haven't done this yet how do you think even get here hold on would it be super weird if I made this like an outdoor like seating area with pillows. The person I'm picturing living here is very okay with nature. So that makes sense to me. Cool. <laughs> so again, I can't move any of the walls. I'm going to open the thing up right away with arches. <laughs> so I ran into a pretty big issue, which was my bed situation. So I figured I would try and play test this awkward diagonal bed because I literally don't have any other option. The other option would be me going downstairs and putting like my bedroom in here. Like this would be the ideal bedroom. But <laughs> I didn't think about that when I I placed my layout, obviously. So I'm gonna have to make this diagonal bed work, which I have play tested and it worked. Also, this is some random sim that I downloaded off the gallery. <laughs> now that we know this information, this is what we're gonna do here. So my layout, oh God, okay. So we've got the living room here, right? And then in the back, I think I might do like a little creativity room or something like that, a reading room. This is going to be laundry right here. This little one tile room is gonna be our laundry. And then over here, we're gonna do our kitchen. It's gonna be a really little small kitchen. And I have no idea what I'm putting in here yet probably storage or something but then there's the window we're gonna figure it out and then upstairs I'm gonna have to do my hallway or we're gonna do our bedroom <laughs> and our bathroom let's go ahead and get our flooring and again we're going super colorful so I think I'm gonna go like paranormal with this like I kind of want to use this and it's so small that I think we can get away with using that in the whole house downstairs so let's also get our wallpaper I really wish like I need to start making a sim so that you guys can see where my inspiration for this is coming from I'm picturing like a sim really 
long wavy hair, flowers in their hair, floral outfits. Just visualize that with me while we create this um, interesting looking home here. Ooh, I really like that pale blue there. Oh, I think this is super pretty like that. So maybe we do that there. I can change my doors to that yellow one. Those are the Strangerville doors that I'm using. And then for my poor small bathroom, something, oh my God, <laughs> something like that. Okay, let's go on and uh, let's start here. So this is my hallway. I don't really know what I'm going to put in here. Let's just do like a, a little welcome rug. Oh, let's do the little picture with the doggies. Maybe this candle can go on top. Cute. And then that's got like a little purse. And I really love that little thing. I think that is a super cute shelf. So that's going to go right there. And then in the corner, maybe we can do a little shoe rack under there. And on this side, we can do a cactus. I'm going to use this one instead because I freaking hate that boot. I hate the floppy boot. <laughs> maybe like a cute little mirror just like before you leave okay so there's my hallway done the living room which is absolutely freaking tidy this couch might be small enough that I can get away with it this is from the paranormal pack if I can get away with this tiny little couch I think we might be able to and then squeeze that in there from tiny living We've got a TV and we have a couch. Okay, this is a plus. I honestly did not think we were gonna be able to get that in there. Okay, I've got some pictures on the wall. I feel like I should put like something under there. Oh my God, get out of your plans. Everything is going so well until you pop up. You know what we could get in here is a snowy escape rug. That rug might be small enough and cozy enough to go in our living room. Okay, these challenges are so fun because it literally feels like you're solving a puzzle. Like I'm so proud of myself once I like figure it out, you know? Or we could do like this little plush one. That could be cute too. Okay, um, and then underneath there, I was kind of thinking of like video games or something just because I have some space or like the Roomba the Roomba has a pancake on it how come I've never seen that I've probably seen that to be honest I probably have <laughs> okay well down there I have to put the pancake Roomba matches my color scheme it's kind of cute and I added a speaker down there as well so I'm trying to make sure there's like stuff for sims to do also in here like I know it's a small little home but there's a lot this this home comes packed all right oh and maybe like tiny living bookshelf in there that's perfect okay and then I've got the vintage glamour clock right there I could even like raise up a plant and kind of just put it up above on my bookshelf here there okay cute so I've got a full living room you guys I literally did not think that was gonna fit in there but we've got it let's do our laundry room because that's gonna be easy definitely gonna have to do these stacked ones and they're gonna be yellow <laughs> and I think that's all I'm gonna put in there because you can't even like see the top of it so laundry room done and then back here I think this has to be a knitting room because technically that was what we said our our sim that lives here likes to do and does for work so we're gonna do our little knitting room in the back I don't really think I want to do a rocking chair because I don't picture this sim being older necessarily I picture them being a younger person who enjoys to knit so I think I'm just gonna do that Maybe I can put like a little chair there also I can just put the little knitting thing right outside there and then inside We just fill this up with the the rest of it I wonder if I can put a chair there I think they can just go there anyway or like do they even use this thing? Maybe I can put some more like hanging plants in this room too because they're all over the outside of the house So I feel like they should also kind of be like inside. Okay, cool Let's go and do the kitchen. So the kitchen I'm nervous about because we really Really don't have a lot of room um, and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these yet either so maybe for my kitchen we could do fridge in there and then sink oven all that stuff over on that side and then for my seating area I could do a laptop with a little island piece there even though they won't be able to eat there at least we've got a laptop a computer I don't know what to put in these stupid things tell me journey to Batu isn't about to save the day on this one <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's happening we've got our plants in there and I wanted it to look cute on the outside too. So I literally just did like plant corner because what in doubt plants. Okay, there we go. This is our kitchen, our little eating area and our freaking plant room. But um, this build is turning out really cute. It's super, super colorful, which is what I was going for. Let's go upstairs and tackle this stupid bedroom. This is like the one loss of this whole thing is a stupid bedroom. Thank goodness they can actually get in here. Otherwise, um, we would be probably screwed for this challenge. And I need to like shove this back there. I don't think I'm going to even risk putting anything right there. I think I'm going to leave that. And honestly, this whole side. So again, we're going to come in with some like wall, maybe a mirror. We could use this really cute 
cute thing. And then over here, which, oh my God, I don't even know if they'll be able to get to. This is gonna have to be where my dresser goes. I'm gonna try and play test that again, just to make sure that we can get back into this bed here. I am obviously not gonna add a whole lot in here. I'm kind of scared already, to be honest. So I'm gonna leave my bedroom just like that for now. And then in here, kind of wanna add an easel. So I think I'm gonna add one of those right there, even just like that. So I've got my skill and the bathroom, the final one. Okay, there we go, question mark. I need a towel and we're good to go. This is what we ended up with for my tiny home puzzle challenge. I'm gonna double check, make sure that we can actually use that. The downstairs of this, I am absolutely in love with. If I had only a little bit more room upstairs for my freaking bedroom, we would have been perfect. I think she can do it, I think she can do it. Get in there. Yes, we got the bed to work. I wanna double check and see if she can. Okay, just leave your clothes wherever. Oh, I need a laundry hamper, speaking of. So I moved the bed forward a little bit. This is such a tiny space. I cannot believe she can freaking get back there. Change outfit, change into your everyday. It works and sleep. Yes, that means we have done it. I do need a la uh, laundry hamper somewhere, which I think I might put in place of this plant because her clothes are everywhere. There we go. I can't believe she freaking gets in there. This has been the Tiny Home Puzzle Challenge. I will put this on the gallery under Cindy Macaretta. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.